so uh, tonight we're gonna do. I don't you have to introduce that it's the I, player's I, aid. I will. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. So we're gonna cut all that. Scratch it. Start over. <laughs> so my name is Grant, and I'm Paisley. This is very weird to say that, by the way. So tonight we're gonna do a game very similar to what Kelly and Alexander did maybe a month ago. In February. But the twist is, these are not my games. <laughs> these are Alexander's <laughs> games. So behind me, Paisley, with the help of Alexander, I believe, is going to choose 10 games, and I'm going to listen to my lovely wife's description. I'm sure it will be fantastic. It will. I'm sure it will be better than horse times. <laughs> I'm sure that, that those words will never be That's used. That's a classic, yeah. And then mm -hmm. I will try to guess. So let's do an over-under. Over-under, how many am I going to get? Well, how many did Alexander get? Seven out of ten, I believe. Five, six out six of ten. Out of ten. I, six yeah. out of ten. So, I'm, so you I'm just gonna, need to get seven out of ten. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. I think I'm going to get seven. I'm pretty good with images and memory. What happens if you get more than seven? Well, then I, I get all these games. Oh, okay. That he works. just has to move them into my, my little... Hovel. Okay. You're going to have to buy five I don't. New yeah, shells. I don't like this. This isn't a win fin for me. At no, all. it's not a win for okay. you at all. Well, none of this is a win for the two of you. So, right. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and choose those games and we'll be back in just a minute. Five hours later. Oh, I, I feel a lot of pressure. Are you ready for this? Not really. Okay. I don't even know where I'm going to start with this one here. So, so what, once again, we got to, we have to do the rules, right? Okay, so, go for the rules. don't use any. No words. No words or, or part of the title. You're supposed to pick, you know, objects or colors or whatever's on there and, and describe that to me so I can attempt to guess. Okay. But I, I don't have a lot of confidence. This is going to be really hard. Okay, this is the first one. Hard but fun, okay. right? <laughs> okay, so we're in a, a black and white forest with a red circle in the center of the box. A black and white forest with a red center. Well, it's kind of grayish. Okay. I'm not even getting the colors right. Um, there is... Are there tanks? No, there's a guy on a horse. A guy on... And he has arrows sticking out of the horse. The horse has been shot and there's blood coming out of the wounds. There's also a guy on the horse who has arrows sticking out of him. And what, he's, he's... What period do they look to be in? Can I ask um, that question? Yes. Like, is it? It is. It, well, that's. It, is it word. Japanese? It is Japanese. Right. Okay, interesting. So. Okay. Well, I, I kind of remember a game, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to remember the name desperately. Okay, well, the name. This, this other. There's two guys. There's the guy on the horse, and then there's a guy on the other side of the box who has a very long spear. It's like mm -hmm. a piece of wood with a metal blade on the end. Okay. And he is wearing some brownish armor. Probably lacquered armor. I don't know. He also has some swords at his side. Yeah. Two of them. So these are obviously, uh, maybe some are samurai and then some are peasants. So it's samurai from, is it GMT Games? Oh my gosh, it is. Did Great. I get that right? It. Don't look, don't look. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I thought you didn't think you would get this. Well, we I, haven't played it. We oh, have not wow. played it, but okay. I have seen that on the shelf many, Wait, many times. And I'm like, and when are we going to play that one? Okay. This so one, that's one, right? Yeah, that's one. One for one. Damn. Okay, this is the next one. Okay. See, I don't even know if you've played these. I have no idea. Okay, and some we haven't a, played. A yellow right. cover, and there is um, a creature on the front. A yellow cover. Rolling six die, and he has some little cards in front of him with numbers on them. Oh my God! This creature, he is big and bad, with sharp teeth. And in the yellow background, there's like a volcano exploding, and um, there's also a flying blue creature in the sky. My guess is Alexander wouldn't get this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it looks a like a... Blue creature in the sky. So obviously it's fantasy of some kind. Okay, well, it's from a long, long, long time ago. Okay. Like, there are no men in these pictures. So it's all like aliens or animals. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Animals could be, yes. Okay. Or creatures. Well, animals is a better description. Okay. Because they, 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 mm. real animals is what I will say. Real animals. Like horses. 
Older than horses. Okay. It's older than horses. Okay. And so maybe they're dragons? Maybe, maybe. But, okay. but less fantasy. I'm Am not I, sure. I, I feel like I might be giving too much away. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure I have a guess, to be okay, honest. Okay, um, this has little tiny arms, this creature. Like a but, Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yes. <laughs> exactly like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is from Hollenspiel? Yes. Okay, dinosaur they... table battles. Oh my gosh, you got it! And the moment I knew it was a T Rex, I'm like, that's the only game we've got. Oh, okay. It has a flipping T Rex on All it. Right. And then... I'm going to be honest, that game is awesome. Oh, good, you have played it. Okay, this, yeah. is, this is, I'm going to show Am I two for two? Time. You're two for is two. Is Alexander sweating? Is he watching? No, you still have seven. Okay. To go. All right. Okay, so um, this is a box with a <laughs> it's a box okay that's a good start it's a large face of a man it's from his like chest up so the it's top a, of it's his a hat. portrait or a silhouette yes is his and hat a pointy hat with feathers no okay it is black and it looks like he has a brooch pinned on it with a red mm -hmm. gemstone in the center and maybe for four or five pearls and he has dark curly hair so i'm i'm believing he might be a pirate I don't think he's a pirate. I don't think he's a pirate. Okay. Um, he. Ooh, I don't know about he this. He has a wrinkly forehead and little lips and a big nose. He he might be a relative of mine. Actually, I'm looking at him like we can so be what, related. So what what is on the rest of the cover? Um. What color is the cover? Red. It is. Well, no, red. I would say burgundy. Like maybe the color of the sweatshirt you're wearing. And then he has on a coat with jewels. I think the jewels are important. And some brocade, some gold. Brocade? What's brocade? It's like a an embroidered fabric. Okay. you got to remember what I my education level is. I think it's fur-lined coat. It's like a fur. All right. So it's fur and jewels. So and... can I ask this question? Is he a Native American? No. Okay. Um, mm. He doesn't look happy. Okay. Not many war game people yeah, are happy. Yeah, he's not smiling. Um, I don't know if you're gonna get this. Yeah, this one I'm not. I'm. You're the, not. The hat looks kind of like. You're not giving me great hints. Hold on, let me think. What? Sorry, I'm, it's like. not a. It's not a. It judgment. almost looks like a beret, but it's not leaning to one side. I don't oh. think this is a beret. I don't know how I would describe a beret. it. Beret. Okay. Uh, um, with maybe like a. Uh, this is terrible. Is this from Lock and Load? No. Okay. He he looks very important. Uh, man, like I, I don't fine have... and fancy clothes on a very serious man. I just don't know that I have a guess. You might want to guess something. Um, I just don't know. Nothing's ringing a bell. Can I tell him about the back of the box? No. Is that going to give it away? Probably. Hmm. hmm. I think I should tell him just generally. There's a map on the back sure. of the box. There's a map. Okay, yeah. most of most of the game boxes have a well, map on the back. Well, this is a big green spot in the center, and then there's some blue spots on three sides. Okay. So it's ocean, maybe. Okay, and... Have, Alexander, what kind of games do you have that have that kind of thing? I just don't remember. I thought that would help him. I don't... You, mm. you, you're you not going to get it, are you? I, I, I don't have you a guess. You give up? Yeah, I give up it's on Richard that. It's Richard III, The War of the Roses. Oh, I love that game, too. Oh, and did I not describe him well? Well, I mean, you did. Let's put him over here. If That's you would have said something like the potato gambit, I would have been like... I don't even I know, know what exactly that is. I know exactly what that is. Okay. It's an um, inside joke. Okay. Alexander <laughs> forgot about my Irish troops, and I came in the back and slaughtered him. Of course you did. So... All right. We call it the potato gambit. This box. Number four. So I'm two for three. Two, two for uh, three. three, right? Yeah. That's 666. This, That's a good batting average. This has some red and white stripes and some blue with some white stars in it. So and, an American flag type. Okay, yes. And there are two men on the front. And they don't, they don't agree about how to get things done. Once again, not and uncommon in war at games. The, <laughs> at the bottom... <laughs> Uh -huh. There are some ladies on the beach with an umbrella. They're in like bathing suits. And then there's a, a car. And then there's some people who are marching, holding ladies signs. On the, okay, I'm stuck on ladies on the beach. <laughs> Let's keep moving on. There's some people holding signs that are they're marching or protesting. And then there's there's a family sitting on a couch and watching their 
television where they have to turn the channel themselves because the dad's really close to the TV. But like oh. the, the mom and the dad and the two kids. But they're smaller. They're below the two men. And this is the front of the box? The front of the box. What kind of cover is this? front of the box. One of the men is younger than the other. And he has a side part. And... <laughs> The other one has a slicked back hairdo. <laughs> I feel like this should help you. And are they gangsters? No, they're well, actually. I, I'm thinking there, this. There might be some some. Is there anything otherworldly on the box? Oh no, okay. no. But there could have been. <laughs> well, there could have also well. <laughs> um. Uh, let, all right, let me describe this. So they're the two men, they're white. But the people below them, the protesting people, they're not white. They're black. Wow, is this really... I, this could really help. This does not help me. And on the TV... Hold on, let me figure out what's on There's the TV. There's a flipping TV. Hmm. What's on the TV? Does this have something <laughs> to do with presidential... <gasps> Elections? Yes. 1960, making of the president. You got it! Way to we go. Love, we love that game. Way to that go. Was, that was a great game. Okay, this next one. Wow. So right now, you're I mean, the four. ladies on the beach was really when throwing see, me for a when loop. When you see the cover again, you're going to say, <laughs> Yeah, I'll I probably be like, exactly oh, of course. Was. Okay, now these are some dudes on a beach. Oh, boy. And they are fully clothed. I, I'm assuming they're soldiers running up the beach. They're not running. Okay, they're moving up the beach. They're laying. But they're on a beach. In the water. Yeah, they're on a okay. beach. And they have these things that look like big metal X's in that they're kind of around yeah, on those the are, beach. Yeah, tank, uh, tank barriers. They look like sculptures to me. And this yeah. is basically like a black and white grainy picture, kind of. Ooh, a black. Is this? Ooh, okay. I need a little more, but look, I, uh, I think I might have there's it. There's some big ships in the back. Like two. Okay. Obviously landing ships that have okay, maybe yeah. supported by some battleships or something. This is obviously a D-Day game of some kind. Okay. Um, um, so do you know what it is? Well, <laughs> I'm trying to think what, because I'm trying to remember the ones that Alexander has. Okay, well the top has a stripe of red across it, or like a, a orangish red. And then there's the, the center part of the picture. And then the bottom has um, a stripe of black. Hmm. I think the designer might be Mark Simonich. It is. Okay. I, I mean, and I'm just going to go ahead and guess. Okay. Normandy 44? Yes. Holy right. moly. Amazing. I cannot believe this. I Amazing. don't think I could do this with anything in our house. Yeah. <laughs> this is, like, shocking no, to me. Yeah. I, I'm a little worried about how much time you've spent memorizing yeah, this. Yeah, well... Okay, do don't, you just don't stare ask. at the boxes when you get them? Well, there's a lot of downtime over here. Alexander's what? really slow in his moves. <laughs> okay, this one <laughs> is a real picture. And it is It a, is like a photograph yes, that they put into yes. a... The top okay. At the top of the box, there are three stripes. It goes blue, red, white. Okay, hold, hold on. Blue, red, white at the top of the box? No, I'm sorry. It's blue, white, red. I already got it Blue, wrong. white, red blue, at the white, top red. of the box? Yeah, like across the box? Uh -huh, across the box. And then there's a red star in the center that is outlined in yellow. Okay. Okay. And then there's some words. Behind the words is this picture of a city that is... Now, no one is living there, and it it is a snowy, okay. and there are no leaves on the trees, and there is a bus with some graffiti on it, and maybe some bombed out buildings, and... Ah, I think I know this one. Rock and rubble in the streets. Did this happen to be my number one game of 2020? <laughs> I have no idea. I do not know the answer to that. Is it I made by this. Compass Games? Yes. Brotherhood and Unity. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That game. Great. We just played that game like oh. two months ago, and it literally was my choice for game of the year for 2020 because it's well, that damn just, good. You should have. You should have. Okay, this one should be fun. All right. Okay. So wait, I, I want to stop. Do you know how many have we done? And I think I've got everything right. You, but you have one. five out of six. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty impressive. Okay, this one. If Actually, I do say so myself. I really like the cover of this. Okay. It is a forest 
with pine trees and snow. And there is a mm. man standing behind one of the trees wearing... Is it a Finnish sniper? I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Um, he Sorry. has on... Um, What are these called? Hold on. Well, that's oh, part of the no. game. You got to know. Okay. First of all, he um, has a feather in his hair and he has some red paint and black. A few acres of snow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Snowshoes. That's what they're called. Yeah. Snow that was shoes. easy. Yeah, Sorry. You got that one. That wow. is one we have not played. That's a beautiful cover. That is one we have not played, but I'm going to be looks honest. Like fun. It's a game that I've wanted forever. And when Alexander got it, I believe in a trade, I was pissed. Uh, well, I'll tell you Because I was like, I want that game. I like Martin the Wallace's that A Few I Acres might, of Snow. I might want to play that yeah, game, but I, you know, probably not. I've heard it's a very good game. Many people like it. It's a French and Indian War game, and we, okay, we so love you're, those. Okay, so you're a six for seven. Okay, so I am now officially tied mm, yes. with Alexander. Okay, wow. Okay, this one? I'm, I'm actually surprised myself. I'm not that surprised. Also, you're very competitive. Okay, Yeah, this, of course I am. Uh, the front... Is of the ocean the and the front sky. Is of the ocean and the sky, okay. There is a ship. Uh, one of those ships that people like fly their planes off of. An aircraft carrier. Okay, yeah, one of those. And it's firing into the sky, lots of fire on both sides. And then there are airplanes in the sky. There's there's four airplanes. Two are green with red dots and two okay. are red. So those are Japanese planes. With red dots. Well, they're green. Are they all Japanese planes? I guess so. I so I, I think I've got a guess on this one. Okay. This is picket duty. Wrong. Ah! This is Pacific Victory. Ah, Pacific Theater it. of World War II. I love that game, too. Well, you, you are I now blew just it. decide. I thought for sure right? that was, He's, that was tied. Pick Duty. Oh, you have to get Dang these last. It. You have to get these. Okay. Dang it. I just have to get one more. Okay. I don't know to about win, this To take one. victory. To take the laurels. Okay. Um, this has... How many more do we have? Two. Okay. There's a blue stripe at the top and a red stripe at the bottom. And in the middle, there's a picture... That somebody, it's not a photograph, it's like a piece of art. And there, uh, these, mm, there's a lot of horses and soldiers in the background, but they're not, they're kind of like smudgy, like impressionistic painting. They're not, okay, they're not detailed. But there's some people in the front who are detailed. Uh, the guy in the very front has on like a furry tall hat with a red sash flying in the air from it. And he has on a blue jacket with a fur brown fur collar and blue pants and a red belt going across his chest. And he's pointing with a sword that has a gold handle. Oh, man. And he's on a horse. Okay. And, and this horse is decked out. I guess the other horses do. Now, the guy behind him is wearing a different kind of hat. He has a tall hat, too. With a chin strap that the furry hat has a chin strap too. So, so my guess is this is Napoleonics of some kind. It is Napoleonics. Okay. Does he? How specific does he have to be? Well, no, no. I need to. I, there's a couple games. I, I'm trying to remember what games Alexander has that are based around Napoleon. See, Can you give me any more? Um. What is the material? Ah, uh, maybe that's. How sturdy is the box? Am I I, that's not describing is the that picture. is that too much I feel like Alexander that's cheating okay I feel like yeah that's probably cheating I think I'm only allowed to describe the pictures I mean I think I know what it is but I'm now I'm now hesitating just do it you have one more after this you're tied well but I think this is one that I can get okay all right um the guy behind him it has like a, a red hat so, with so a little red thingy and... I, I do want to ask this question and I is this some sort of an expansion? For an established game? I don't know, Alexander, if no. that's something. Okay. Because I know you have here? several of those. I just can't remember if you've merged them together. I don't think so. Well, I, I'm going to go ahead and just take a guess yeah. because this is for fun, right? Yeah. Commands and Colors, Napoleonics. You got it. All right. I was worried that it might be... So you... You're... What do you have, like the Russian expansion? Wait, and does the... that mean he has now I've got seven, seven I think. Yeah. Cause, okay. I've missed two and we've got one more, so... Okay. Boy, you picked a lot of games that we love. That's interesting. Well, Alexander steered me away from some of the ones. He's okay. Like, Don't pick that. Okay. He will never know. Well, that. some of them we haven't played. He said he wouldn't know them. Yeah, right. Is. Okay. Um. So this one has. Uh. Yeah, it's it's a. It's 
It's got two dudes and like some olive green coats. They have dark green helmets on. They're smoking some ciggies. Oh, and they have, I already and they're know in the this snow. one. I already know it. What is it? Well, keep going. Um, and one of them is you can see his gun. It's blue and brown. I don't know what kind of gun this is. Blue and brown. Are they in a uh, like a foxhole of some kind? Yeah, because I can only see the top half of them. And there's so there's woods yeah. in the background. Yes. Like they're looking at and woods. There's some men walking. Snow. Yeah. All right. This wow. is once again Mark Sim Simonich. Yep. Okay. This is Arden forty four. Yes. Or I... Ardenne forty four. Arden forty four. You got it. I did. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Wow. Are we done? Can I take yeah. the mask off? I'm a little. I'm like proud of you and also upset that you well, know these. <laughs> and I'm sweating. My eyes are sweating. I'm not upset about that. I'm thinking. Dang. I'm pretty sure you asked me recently, like where we kept a spoon, but you know <laughs> all of the well, covers. I where do we keep the spoons? Because I, I'm trying to remember. Well, you got to remember, we do spend a lot of time at this. I I'm gonna be honest. We. More than at home in the kitchen? No, not more than at home and in the kitchen. I'm at home six days a week. I can tell how much you love board gaming based on how well you know these. Well, or at the, least just staring at the boxes. Well, these are a lot of damn fine games. And I frankly. have seen you. I, I have mean, caught you standing in front of your bookcases staring. But this isn't my at collection. Boxes. I actually don't own. Do I own any of these? So you said a few acres of snow you wanted. I don't, you I don't believe I own any of those. So here's my question. For a few acres of snow, like, do you get online and stare at the cover and just think, I wish I had that game? Well, I mean, before Alexander got it, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I just bought a game the other. Is this how women stare at I just shows? bought a game the other day. I just told on myself. <laughs> we're send, a game? We're Send Das Volk. And I've been looking at that game for forever. You have to say forever because now I know you bought it. I did. So I here's it. my question, yeah. though. Do you stare at games online like I stare Some, at shoes yes. or jewelry? Yeah, when I'm bored, I'm just like, I want to look at that game or I want to look at this game. Whose or... review are you reading if you're not reading the Player's A review? Uh, like, how do you know that you'd want to play that game? Just based on, like, the ad... Well, like, based on uh, the tree pub frog games, based on the publisher, or based on what people have said about it, or pe it comes up in discussions, or people, people always are like, ask this us. This is a fun game. We should play this. People ask us all the time. Have you played this game? Sometimes we have to say no. We we haven't. Embarrassingly, we haven't played it. But what do you mean embarrassingly? You guys have spent a lot of time playing. Well, games. I'm I'm surprised. All right. I well, really am surprised that I got eight. I well, actually, I feel like Alexander may have stacked this a little bit. Yeah, so he, he gave me some. I thought he I gave me some Because I know that he knows ones. how competitive you are. I was trying not to. Well, when you gave me Arden 44 and Normandy 44. Well, remember, I, I picked some of them. You up it's well, the but this one, that when she said the cigarettes, I knew immediately. I think this is the only war game that has cigarettes on the front. But surely that is not the only war game. I swear it is. I've looked. I made her put these back because I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've never like, even. Like, we, I would have never gotten that. I might have got this, but I wouldn't remember the name. Exactly. I mean, I... Like, like some of the ones, yeah. like, this is... There were some that he was yeah. like, no, he will never get that. So, anyway. Well, well, I had a good time doing it. Thank you for being a fantastic sport. You're welcome. Also, thanks for your amazing descriptions. I They were good. I really I appreciate... I horse times. I really appreciate <laughs> that you did not say horse times. I really did. I did enjoy... I kind of chuckled a little bit at the samurai. Alexander um, did not think you were going to get that. Well, I... How did what? What did you say that got me? I, the there red was something circle. you said. The red circle. I immediately thought the of the arrows sticking out of the. Yeah, and the arrows because I'm like I, you know, and they the horse. Use, they shot the I horse and the guy. This one is one of our favorite games of all time. And I don't. I, only in Napoleonics do you get a hat that looks like that. I mean, only. No one wears supposed, hats like that. Is that anymore. supposed to be Napoleon? No, 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 no. That's just okay. A, I was a gonna leader. say. I thought he was like a. Yeah, not that's like just that. A, that's no. not how I would have drawn Napoleon. Yeah. He's one of the original Gronard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that word is. Gronard. G-R-O-G-N-A-R-D. What does that mean? It just means old soldier. Yeah, oh, okay. French veterans. Yeah. Nice. Brotherhood and Unity. I mean, that's a great game. Dinosaur Table Battles. We've had fun with that. Yeah, so I, I had a good time. So thank you for watching. I'm not sure it was as entertaining Probably as not. Kelly and Alexander's. Kelly is hard to but, beat. <laughs> but I do appreciate you being a good sport. Always. And, and I'm always a good so, sport. So nobody better say anything bad about my wife because I'm going to get, I'm going to come after you. So yeah, I'm not really that kind of guy, am I? No. So, well, hey, thanks. Uh, we had a good time doing this. We'll see how it goes and maybe we'll do this some other time. Maybe we'll do the same thing with my games and then we'll have Alexander see if he knows 
My games. games. That'll be fun. That'll be good. Because we don't play at my house as much as we play here. So anyway, I've been Grant for the Players Aid. I'm Paisley.